I'm on the Carnival Breeze. I'm gonna do a full tour. This is Jason here. I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's start the tour up here at the Kids Splash Park. There are a couple of huge water slides. One goes into a bowl and the other one twists around. There's a fun splash area right here in the center, which consists of two smaller slides, a huge bucket that dumps thousands of gallons of water throughout the day, and stairs and fun places to play. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main pool. The main pool consists of plenty of loungers, a couple of cabanas on either side of the pool. Families and friends like to get a bucket of beer or a drink and hang out in the cabanas. If you want to grab a drink, while you're hanging out here at the main pool, you can head on over to one of the two bars. There is the Red Frog Rum Bar and the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. There are a lot of shows and events that take place here at the main pool deck. If we go a deck above the main pool, you'll see comfortable chairs where people like to hang out and sit. Also, there's a panoramic view of the main pool deck where you can watch the movies under the stars here in one of the love seats. Let's jump back on down to the Lido deck and take a look at some dining venues down here. There's Guy's Burger Joint where you can order your burger in many different ways. I like the ringer with the onion ring. After you order your burger, you can take it on over to the toppings bar and pile some delicious fresh toppings on your burger. Make sure you give their chipotle mayo a try. Also down here on the Lido deck is the Blue Iguana Cantina. Grab yourself some nice Mexican food, a burrito, maybe a burrito bowl, a taco, and then head on over to the yummy salsa bar and choose between many different salsas and hot sauces. Let's head on back over toward the front of the ship close to the water slides and take a look at the Serenity Adult area. Here you'll find an extremely relaxing area with pretty cool views with plenty of loungers, cabanas, there are a couple of hot tubs and a bar all the way here at the front. It's a pretty cool place to hang out in. Also here at the front of the ship, below us a little bit, is the Cloud9 Spa. Because what a lot of people like about the Cloud9 Spa is that they offer thermal suites. So you can hang out in the steam room, the sauna, head on over to the thalassotherapy pool. It's extremely therapeutic and a lot of fun. The steam room is perfect after a night of drinking, so make sure you get your pass. You'll either need to get a day pass or a weekly pass for the thermal suites or however many nights you're on the cruise. If you'd like to work out while you're on board, right around the corner from the spa is the gym. There are plenty of machines, free weights, stairmasters, treadmill. Let's check out the sports deck. So the sports deck is right here in the middle of the ship. There are plenty of fun games to play, such as mini golf, ping pong, pool. There's a ropes course. So all you have to do is strap in and head on out onto the ropes course. It's kind of high and a little scary, but it's worth it because it's fun. Right behind the sports court is the basketball court. You'll notice a little workout area right behind the basketball court. Gentlemen doing a little Stairmaster there. All the way at the back of the ship here is a pool with two hot tubs on either side of the pool. There's couches and umbrellas for you to hang out in. There's also a couple dining venues. There's 24-hour pizza and right across is Tandoor. So it's pretty cool because there are two places on the Lido deck where you can grab some snacks and two places back here at the aft pool where you can also grab a snack. In the middle, between the aft pool and the main pool, is the marketplace. It's the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right here in the buffet at the back of the ship, if we go up the stairs here, we'll find Cucina del Capitano. That's the Italian restaurant. That's part of the specialty dining. This ship is part of the Dream Class, which also includes the Carnival Dream and the Carnival Magic. If you'd like to book either one of those ships, make sure you give me a call. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number there on the screen. Our clients are so happy when they call us because we really understand this industry and we offer discounted rates. With our humongous volume, the cruise line actually allows us to offer you their cabins at a discount. So it's very important that you call us. So we're gonna jump down to deck five and all the way at the back of the ship here is the Limelight Lounge where you'll enjoy the comedy shows and fun events. Right next to that is the specialty steakhouse. Also across from the steakhouse is the piano bar. So if you love to enjoy those fun songs and you like to sing along, make sure you check out the piano bar. Right around the corner is the liquid lounge. So if you like to dance late at night, 
it's a fun place. A lot of people like to head on over here after they have the dance parties up on the Lido deck. If you get here a little bit early, you can head on over to the bar and hang out on one of the stools. Right around the corner from the Liquid Lounge is the Red Frog Rum Pub. Here you can enjoy karaoke, live music. On a sea day, a lot of people like to come in here and just hang out and have a beer. Right around the corner from the Red Frog Rum Pub is the Alchemy Bar. The Alchemy Bar sits right here in Ocean Plaza. Here in Ocean Plaza, you can dance to live music during the day or at night. In the morning, you can head to Plaza Cafe and grab a specialty coffee. I like to grab a specialty coffee and then head out onto the lanai and walk all the way around the ship. On sea days, I like to come out here and go to Pig and Anchor where I can get all the barbecue I can eat. Also, if you want to hang out in one of the hot tubs, they have hot tubs on either side. If we look up, we can see all the cabins. The lanai is pretty cool because it goes all the way around the ship, so it's nice for a stroll. Right here is Banzai Sushi, so if you're craving sushi, miso soup, maybe a shot of sake, head on over. Next to Banzai is the Fun Hub if you need to get onto the internet. Let's take a look at the casino. Right here is the bar when you first walk in from Banzai Sushi. Here are all the tables if you want to play blackjack or poker. And there are plenty of slot machines. If you'd like a tasty treat, head on over to Cherry on Top. My son Eric loves the huge lollipops. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Ovation Theater. While we're looking at the theater, please keep in mind to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer, please give us a call. Remember that these rates are not posted on our website. Right here is the Atrium. So let's go down there. Down here, you'll find the Shore Excursions Desk and Guest Services. Also here, close to the main lobby, you'll find the Sapphire Dining Room, the library. In the library, there's nice places to sit and relax. Also, if you want to play board games or cards, it's a perfect spot, especially on a sea day. Let's head on down the hall here. You can see that there are windows into the Sapphire restaurant. Right through the art gallery here on the other side is the Thrill Theater. It's a lot of fun. It's completely virtual, but it feels like it's real. Now, one of the major perks of cruising on a cruise ship, if you have children, are all of the children's activities and the different children's areas. So this right here is just an example. This is the O2. So you'll notice that there are foosball tables, plenty of TVs, video games. They have activities like scavenger hunts. This one actually goes right into the video game area, the warehouse. But as what parents enjoy about the different kids areas is that they're all divided into different age groups. So all the way back here to the back of the ship is another main dining room, the Blush Restaurant. This is another complimentary dining venue. There are some specialty dining venues on board, the Steakhouse, the sushi bar. So if you'd like more information about the dining and would like to know which ones are specialty and which ones are complimentary, I've placed a link down below the description of the video. So check that out when you have a chance. Hey, my name is Jason with cruisesit.com. Thank you for joining me on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. And remember to get the best rate guaranteed, call that number.